guys, it's Kim Zdenich at Property Mom Real Estate and I'm here at Spiritual Soldiers Dry Bar and Cafe and we're going to go in and talk to Bianca and uh, she's one of the owners here and she has, with her partners, have created an amazing place for people to come that are um, on the other side of recovery and they just need a place to hang out and we're going to go and check it out and talk to Bianca. I'm so excited to, um, to talk to her today. Okay, so this is the Spiritual Soldiers Coffee Compound. We have been around for almost a year. Well, June will be a year for us. Um, we started this concept to try to create a sober bar, fun atmosphere for individuals who are recovering from alcoholic and drug addiction. Um, it's kind of our way of giving back. We wanted to create a safe space for people to have fun. Um, so many people come into recovery and they think they can't have fun anymore. So the whole concept of this was to show people that just come in here, let loose, be yourself, enjoy the day, and uh, make friendships, and just have fun. It's actually better, right? Because you don't have to worry about the pressures of the drugs and alcohol in here. We have fun mocktails, and we'll be bringing out some new blended drinks for the summer. Um, so we have all of that aspect with the coffee and the mocktails. So kind of like during the day and the weekdays, it might be, you know, come in, grab a cup of coffee. Um, but probably once it hits like 5 o'clock, the music goes up, people start jumping around, and uh, it becomes fun. We also have a clothing of um, The clothing aspect is our bread shop, which is all right here. This was, is kind of like our way of spreading it out. So everyone that purchases clothing becomes part of that mission. Uh, a lady told me that she was at a restaurant wearing one of our t-shirts. Someone came up to her and said, oh, what's that symbol? And they were able to have you know, a really long conversation about what the symbol that is and the aspect of the bar and how you can stop fun and recovery and they built that friendship, right? Just kind of sitting at a restaurant and, and talking about the world. So it goes a long way, but it's people that want to spread the message and they want to raise awareness and, and the stigma, right? Because this disease of addiction, like it has no face, right? And there's so many people that think it's the homeless person or, or whatever the case is, right? But it's like all those people, they're people. So the name Spiritual Soldiers came from Mike, um, who is an owner as well. He came up with the idea with a few guys that he had met in a recovery home. So when they both decided to get together and do something, um, they wanted this whole lifestyle. The concept came about and they were kind of just walking down the river front and telling people about you know, the cause and what they were trying to do and they were just selling snack packs and t-shirts out of their backpacks and then uh, myself and James came in and we had this idea of a coffee shop slash sober bar and um, it's kind of a five-year goal but we had a lot of help from the community and we were able to do that goal in one year. This Saturday, which is April 6th, we will be doing our launch party. So we're going to have a DJ in here, he's going to be spinning some cool beats and we're going to be launching our two new mocktails, which is the Electric Lemonade and the Cream Scope. We'll also be launching um, our Champion Soldiers gear. So it'll be a couple baseball tees, some different t-shirts, and uh, those will be in for Saturday. So it'll be probably a big party in here. We want to try to get everyone together and just have a fun night. Certain, like, cause certain ones, we only have certain sizes. Uh, so this one is done by a local artist. His name is Eugenio. He's at uh, the Art Lab Windsor. Okay. So this is a painting of Mac Miller, and Mac Miller passed away from drugs and alcohol abuse as well as mental health issues. So when he first made this one, he brought it in here and said, you know, I think it'd be really cool to hang it up in here. And he told us if anyone messages me and asks to buy it, you guys will just work it out, right? And uh, we fell in love with it once we had it in here, so we told him we wanted it. Yeah. And we couldn't part ways with it. And then the last one on the end, the lion, that's from. Uh, a lady who donated that to us. Um, she came in for the first time and then messaged us right after and said, I have a painting that I really want to see in here. I think this is the home for it and I just said, that's awesome. What a great story from Bianca. I can't believe what they've done here in the past year. There's so many exciting things happening. If you want to support uh, Bianca and her partners here, they're located at Erie Street, uh, right across from Take 5 Restaurant. And um, check it out. They have a few great events coming up. Talk to you